Hello, my monstrosities. Hello once again. Today I bring to you a doctor build video and also the third video in this week's perk of the week being monitoring abuse. Also, a heads up right now, this is one of my more convoluted and complicated builds. So if you don't want to hear why it works together, go ahead and skip ahead a bit. But if you do want to hear about all the parts that this plays, please stick around. So with that, let's talk about it. You see, the build starts with Doctor's very own monitoring abuse. While in a chase, your tear radius is increased by 8. Outside of chase, tear radius is decreased by 8 and your FOV is increased by 10 degrees. This will give you a lot of shenanigans for this build. And Doctor likes tear radius stuff. Then we go to Infectious Fright, which you probably know is good with monitoring abuse. And it's good on Doctor for a few reasons. You see, Infectious Fright makes it so that if you down somebody, anybody else that was in your tear radius will scream and reveal their location to you for 6 seconds. This will proc at the end of a chase, which means that you gain the additional 8 meters from monitoring abuse before worrying about it going away to proc Infectious Fright, which will give you essentially a free static blast without you needing to use it. Then we go to Starstruck. While carrying a survivor, anybody else in your tear radius is exposed. This lingers for 30 seconds after you no longer have somebody in hand, and this has a cooldown of a minute. This has always been a fun idea to put on Doctor, but as a killer with no mobility, it is pretty hard to make use of those 30 seconds. But this will make it so that, in combination with the rest of the build, people are always in danger. You see, next we have Sloppy Butcher. Your basic attacks inflict hemorrhage and mangle, which means it'll take longer to heal, and if they're interrupted from healing, whether that be getting shocked from something, infectious fright, just genuinely being scared of the tear radius wherever it may be, they will lose progress if they don't commit to the heal. And then we go to the add-ons. Eerie Queen will make it so that if people are shocked one way or another, they will get a static charge on them. Just like when you were a kid rubbing against the rug, if you touch somebody with Eerie Queen on, they will also get shocked and this will build madness quickly amongst everybody. And then Calm is what's going to make this build a little bit more complicated too. You see, this will increase your tear radius by 8 meters when Static Blast is ready and decrease it while it is on cooldown. The reason this build I say is more complicated is because at some points in the chase you can have a 48 meter tear radius. This will take it to 40 and this will take it to 48. Which means that in combination with these at the right time you can see everybody within 48 meters. Now outside of chase but if this is ready these will negate each other so then you still just have a 32 meter radius for starstruck. But if this is on cooldown this becomes 24. Which, you know, I've put it on Trickster, who's a 24 meter tear radius, so it's not the worst. But then, also, if people are gaining charges with Eerie Queen and quickly going up in madness, they won't be able to heal, meaning Sloppy Butcher will do its work in the background. So yeah, that's the idea, that's the build, and with that being said, roll the clip, and I hope you enjoy. RPD, East Wing, as your doctor. Alrighty. Why am I stuck on this? What the hell? What the hell? Alright, now strong with somebody walking into me. You're not who I thought that was. Do you give me the pallet though? Appreciate you, appreciate you. Tell what you mean. I need to walk this way with the starstruck. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Are you actually sticking that Jennifer? You're trying to. You try to. Oh, more than one of you did try. It's kind of very dumb. Uh, 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 nah, 
nice smooth start. What is with the skin? Why am I bouncing off everything? And that is the wrong button. Maybe not the skin, but like my model right now. Why am I bouncing off everything? I can't walk through doorways anymore. Pallet though. That doesn't reach. <laughs> Give me all the good ones. All right. What the fuck, dude? What is going on? <laughs> we drop it. Come off the top rope. I just feel like if I see smoke clouds on their feet after I do something, it should hit them. Stealth mode activated though. Here we go. Gotta love the stealth mode of this part. Blow your load and go down to 16 meters outside of Chase, which is Michael Myers' terror radius as tier 2, and we all know how scary that can be. D what is that step that I keep getting stuck on? You had so much time to not do what you just did. Like, you just sat there and camped God Pallet for what? Alright, oh, this is the version with this open. I bet. somebody all right that's definitely somebody able to be starstruck okay envelope before anything I guess I forgot I got rid of that Bella. I didn't even need to shock. <laughs> really? Stealth mode again. Stealth mode is pretty darn fun when Starstruck is off of cooldown, or if I already got the information of where to go with Starstruck. This build is just so, so fun. Good try. Whoever that is, she's now starstruckable. 
Jane, it is. Oof. I noticed the scratch marks before her. Not who I went for, but all right. You know, I feel like Doctor could use a buff. Are we back at it again? We are, we tried. We tried. I feel like Doctor could use a buff, but he doesn't really need it at the same time. It's just complex, right? Like, it feels bad once you get people that aren't babies, like, trying to use this character. Now above me. Huh? And you dropped. Where were you? What? <laughs> shocking you were shocking the person above because they're Eerie Queen. That's great. <laughs> tier two I'll take it that's hilarious I didn't know that it had verticality you can't heal anytime soon so time to get you off of this gen that you love so much oh I didn't even think about it but the illusionary terror radius from the purple add-on mixed with the 16 meters after I blow my load outside of Chase means that the stealth can really be wonky. You know me, if you hear people running towards you and the terror radius increasing, you should probably leave. This one's on you. I don't want to even hear you get mad at them. That is completely on you. Oof. Wiggle, wiggle. Dang, how'd she get over here so fast? Like she dropped through the hole next in library? And she got him up terribly fast. Dang. It's not cool. At least he's throwing in the towel. I ain't Jane the hero. Yeah, that 16 meters was tricky. Line with terror radius. I mean, illusionary terror radius. Are you kidding me? Okay, I still get the hatch. But the hatch sound sounded kind of like the 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 envelope. Oh my gosh! Or rather, the envelope sounded like hatch in combination with the hatch. What? I I hurt you on my right. Ah, rather, what are you? That sounds bad in the context. But like, who are you? I guess I should say. Why is your audio so funky? Alright, GG. Man, this build is so much fun. Yeah, and Doctor is actually kind of pleasant when you're just not at the mercy of your shocks. 
Merciless, merciless, no less than a merciless. Man. I've got to run Doctor more often. Let's get out of my way. Thank you. I also feel like I was saying like he could use a buff, but he's kind of just like the noob stomper killer. So probably not. But also probably still could. I don't know. Doctor's fun, but can be frustrating. If you like the video, like it. Got a comment for me, comment. And until next time, peace out, my monstrosities.